How's everybody doing? I'm Chris Cruiser, and today we're going to take a look around Petersburg, Virginia. A little bit of Colonial Heights. And we're going to check out the Petersburg Battlefield, which we are at right now. So let's go look at National Park, Old Town Petersburg, and a little bit of the town of the city, Colonial Heights. This here is Battery 5 of the Diamond Line. of the more than 30,000 Union troops that marched toward Petersburg the afternoon of June 15, 1864. Only 2,300 Confederates were in the Dimmock line that afternoon. One man for every six approaching Federals. One man for every 10 feet of works. But the Federals advanced slowly. Not until 7 p.m. did their attack begin. A soldier of the 13th New Hampshire remembered. A few men of the 13th rushed Battery 5, some straight up over the front walls, others up the north side grasping grass and weeds to assist in climbing. As these northerners looked from the parapet down into the battery, they saw full a hundred of the enemy. Dashing without a moment's hesitation into their midst, our officers demanded a surrender. In a few seconds, all was over, and the prisoners were formed and marched to the rear. This is the dictator. Battery 8 of the Demont line. Right here. You can see the little cut in. This is Attack Road. Jordan Point Road that way. What we will be that way. about what's going on. Old Steven. The last grand offensive movement. There's the cannon. And this is the old Blanford Church. It's erected in 1735. Those old Tiffany stained glass windows. The old Blanford Cemetery. And this modern day artwork on the bridge here going over 95. That's cool. Start with the seed. This building was originally built in 1773. 
remodeled in 1907. Formation of the Southern Methodist Church. So the formation of the Southern Methodist Church. May 1st to 23rd of 1846. Street, I believe that's the old uh, post office. This is the old trailway bus station. Which will hopefully be restored one day. Looks like somebody started working on it. This is the Joseph Jenkins Roberts Monument. Lived in Petersburg from 1815 to 1829 and was the first president of the Republic of Liberia. And the love sign. This is Center Hill. President Abraham Lincoln. Came by in February of 1865 with Mary Todd, Senator Charles Sumner, and General George L. Hartstuff. After leaving City Point and Hopewell, which is where Grant had his headquarters. A good shot of downtown, the Oak Building. This area has seen a lot. War, tornadoes, about three wars and a tornado to be exact. This is done to have restaurants in Old Town stay open, outdoor dining. Hopefully things will be better soon. Art underfoot. This is a cool project. Where the paintings go down the sidewalks. real nice. It's a lot of different ones. All representing different things. A few more on that side we'll have to check out. Farmers Market. Old house. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be done. Could be wrong. Actually, I'm not wrong. You'd actually don't park on the on the sidewalk. It's not here. Some older buildings downtown. Old courthouse. Apartment buildings. A lot of nice lofts in Petersburg. Petersburg Savings Bank. The city of Petersburg. Building. Bank. 
You pay interest. Federal Reserve Bank number. 4%. Butterworths. Not sure what was on this. I bring it back then. The Harley, Harley, Harley Company Incorporated Furniture. RCA. Auto words going on. Night House Furniture. To the bus station. It's a cool building. And so is that one. This is Bank Street. Beautiful old architecture. Coffee house, where I grew up with his wife. Spent the honeymoon. Out of Edgar Allan Poe. Memorabilia. Here. Far right across from the exchange building. The museum and gift shop. of the Siege of Petersburg, which was in June 9th, to April 2nd. The dictator. It's a big motor. Cannon. Cockade Alley. Mathematics yeah. Title Company. I like the old paintings. Brick House Run, which is real good. Mc McWellen House. From 1794. I don't know where it was originally at, but they put it here in 1972. <laughs> School buildings, antique malls. Highway 36, which runs to Hopewell, as well as Ettrick. The history markers, and a little bit about the history. Right across from the old farmers market. That's right. Some food, chili with cornbread, shrimp, scallops, fish. All in this chili. The Guinness is cornbread. First mm -hmm. This is cornbread. This is a 
extremely good. This is some old ruins. South train station. All this runs along the Appomattox River. Seems old Fidel has made his way into Petersburg. Might not be Fidel, it might be El Presidente from the game Tropico. Just the coolest series of games ever created. And an old train, 1904 Peerless. There's another 1916 Peerless. The other was 1904. This one appears to be running a saw. Multiple uses. Set here till about 1933. I'm not sure what we have going on there, but over here, demolition coffee. Al Capone is here sitting up front. Wearing his mask. Like somebody responsible. It's right here. It's old Packard. And a Camaro. And an old Grand Prix. By the old feed and seed store. 28 Chevy trucks. Let's come back here and notice quite a few cool cars. And this Buick Electra. This cool little Buick. I like that. That Cadillac. Like both of these Cadillacs. Like that stance on that green one. It's amazing. This is where they either film the movie Lincoln or Lincoln came while he was living. This is the Rutherford building. It's the Peppercon restaurant. White Street. That's a cool mailbox. Mathematics Ironworks.
Golden Ball Tavern. One stood here. One's Down High Street, the old row houses. Nice little park. The Seaboard Salvage Company. Parking lot. Nice apartments. Pretty cool street. This so ruin. With the beautiful painting on the side. It's something I've never seen before. Let's go look at it. Mayor Peter Jones. 1909. Old fireplace. It's an interesting piece of history. Peter Jones Straighten Building. It's locked. Concrete bunker. So this bunker was here. And they built that. And they built that in 1890. So that bunker's been there a while. Lots of history here in Petersburg. Lots of beautiful architecture. A lot of good food. Pretty cool industrial equipment in here. And a pigeon. Motor. That's super cool. Some more bricks. The town of Pocahontas was established in 1752. Jane Park, Petersburg in 1784. The tornado of 93, which tore down a good majority of Old Town, back there, uh, Colonial Heights, which is behind us, and Pocahontas Island. The oldest standing structure is the Jared House. Charles Stewart, the horseman, born in the slavery near Petersburg. And some of his childhood here on Pocahontas Island. And that'll give you a little bit about him. I believe this is what they call the Jared House. Just being restored right now as we speak. Right around the corner is the Pocahontas Black History Museum. The museum is closed. The ghost of Nat Turner. Sold out house.
Aston Martin. On the house, quotes and whatnot. There's the Jared house right there in the back. And this is the center of Pocahontas, Pocahontas Island. Bridge there on the Colonial Heights side. You see where the old bridge used to cross right there. The old thing. The Affomatics River Reptiles. You have the Cottonmouth, which we call the Water Moccasin. The copperhead, also venomous, and the non venomous brown water snake, the eastern painted turtle, and the snapping turtle, and the ganja. Once you cross the Appomattox River, you're in Colonial Heights. Moss has a trail of their own. From the Colonial Heights side of the Appomattox River. We've got a duck. Hello, duck. Ah, timing is everything. Nice little brick walk here. The city of Colonial Heights. Various people. Constitution Memorial. This is the city of Colonial Heights Courthouse. Which is pretty modern. The old look there. The courthouse time capsule, which will be opened in 2098, 50 year anniversary of the city. It was placed here in 2013 when the courthouse was built. And right across from the courthouse in Colonial Heights is the World War II Memorial. We also got the Korean War, Vietnam War, veterans that gave their life as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jaguar. Now, I guess. This could be considered downtown Colonial Heights. Here on Pickwick. Looks to be a little post office building. Not sure what it is now. Just over the river in Colonial Heights here at the bottom. Bank Historic District, which is kind of going under restorations, but this is the Violet Bank. Then work on. Also, right outside of Petersburg is the village of Ettrick. Home of Virginia State University. Which is pretty cool paintings. 
the Etra Globe sign. Some old city buildings. The first Methodist meeting house in Petersburg is a theater on West Old Street near the river. And this is the area in which it was. University in Groove. This is the Free Library. Thomas Jefferson book. There's the Appomattox. Looks to be an old mill. It's on the banks of the Appomattox. Old bridge. Rocks painted up. Metric. Confirmed in Megan's Rebellion. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. And it's been here as long as I can remember. But I just kind of wanted to. Make sure I got this when I did the video on Petersburg. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, Petersburg, a lot of hikes and the surrounding areas. Uh, as I said, I got the Appomattox River behind me, which is a cool trail, but we'll do that trail on a separate video. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, continue to follow, like, share, all that good stuff, and have a good evening.